Warning, warning to all parents. This video is not made for kids. This is not a kid-friendly video. There is adult language in it because this video is made for adults only. Now, with all that being said, after warning all parents, let's jump right into it. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm so excited to do this video. Okay, so... In this video, this is a 1994 25th anniversary Trans Am. Now, this is the only um, LT1 model that's actually named a Trans Am. All the others are named Firebirds out of the box. So you say, like they show 1996 Firebird um, and... You know, they're in different colors from yellow to black to, what is it, yellow, black, red, and uh, metallic purple. So this one that's white, um, and it is the 25th anniversary, uh, this one is listed as a Trans Am, not a basic Firebird. So that is something to note, right? So... This one also represents my car. Now again, my car is not a 1994, and it's not a 25th anniversary, but mine is a 1993, and in the older days, like the later days, um, when I would drive my car around, put gas in it, whatever, people would ask me, Hey, man, that's a badass Trans Am. Is that the 25th anniversary? And I would like, no, man, th this it's not a 94. This is a 93, so it's the 24th anniversary. <laughs> and they would laugh, you know, like, oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> but um, I still do, on this model, I still do have the original white rims. And I still have the plain uh, hood for this model. But again... Since this one is white and does look similar like my real 93 Trans Am, I took off the white rims and I put on the chrome rims and then I put on the Ram Air hood to make it look like my real Trans Am. So with all this being said, let's take off the G.I. Joe Cobra Ninja Viper. Let's take off uh, Harley Quinn. And the Neko, right? So, this is the channel's mascot. Just a little bit more cartoonish. <laughs> so, very cool. And here's Harley Quinn. Very, very cool. And the Neko. So, very nice. <laughs> okay. So, let's look at this car better. Okay, so again, not the original hood, but it is original to this body style. And it just, I mean, look at that. Look at that. Holy crap, does that look freaking badass or what, man? Come on. You know it looks good. You know it does. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, just awesome. Um, another thing to note as well. This is the only Trans Am actual car uh, that has the clear plastic in the back with the white Firebird and the white Trans Am decal. The rest of them are painted in a darker plastic and then painted with the, what you see here, the red on it. So this one is clear plastic and that is painted on the body of the car. And then the white interior. A lot of people hate, which is, I don't understand why, but they hate the white leather. Now, if you have a Trans Am that's not a 94, or even if you do have a Trans Am or Formula that is a 94 and it has white leather, you have a diamond in the rough there because they are very rare. Not a lot of people uh, picked the option to have white leather. It's the same thing with um, 
what is it, tan? Okay, so you have, uh, when you would go to a dealership and you didn't want just what they ordered, uh, as in they picked out cer certain options and then they delivered the cars to the dealership. If you wanted a Trans Am of your own that you special ordered yourself, you would have the option to order either tan leather, light gray leather, dark gray leather, black leather, white leather, or red leather, okay? Now, <clears throat> the most rare out of all the leather color variants are white and red. Because again, <clears throat> not a lot of people liked white and or red leather. So if you have a Trans Am with red leather, it's like, wow, that is a very rare color for the interior. Um, same thing with white. If you had one in white, wow, you know, that's freaking rare right there. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, I mean, this is a beautiful 25th anniversary. All of them had the white leather interior and on the doors, it doesn't represent it here on this model, but on the doors on the inside, right here where my fingers are pointing, it would also say 25th anniversary Trans Am, as well as on the seats also. I think on the seats. I could be mistaken on that. <clears throat> I don't know if it was the headrests or right here where my hand's pointing right here, my finger there. Um... It could be just the door panels themselves that said 25th anniversary. But uh, again, I could be wrong. As in, I'm talking about the seats I'm talking about there. But anyway, um, I don't have the hood open because it doesn't have the pressure to hold it open. You can see there. <laughs> so again, let me close the doors here. Let's look on the inside here. And you can see that this one does have the chrome valve covers. And this one, I left the intake silver because again, this one is supposed to represent my 1993 Trans Am. And again, I have the blue uh, throttle body plate on my real car. So I painted it on this car as well. And then I painted the Brake Master cylinder there. And then all the little black uh, fuel lines, the cables, the, the other lines there. Okay, so let's look underneath the car here. And as you can see, it also, I took off the Cadillac converter because it's straight pipe on mine. <laughs> so you can see there again, ERTL licensed by GM Corporation. And I believe that's it. I don't think it says Trans Am or Firebird or anything like that on this particular bottom of the car here and I did not paint the the what is it the oil pan or the oil filter which I need to I'll do that later but again this is a beautiful model right here gorgeous model I love it so again Michigan cool TA Let's look at the 25th Trans Am there. Very, very nice. As well as on this side as well. Just a great looking model. Outstanding. And again, it just reminds me of my real car, my 1993.
And again, my 93 is my dream car. It's the one that I bought first out of uh, my fourth generations, or the fourth generations. The 93 was the very first one. And to be perfectly honest, I'll let you in on a little secret. I didn't like the, the way the car looked. I thought it was ugly. <laughs> and there are still a lot of people out there that think that way, that they are ugly, that they, uh, the 98 to 2002s are better looking. But after spending time with it and learning why it looked that way and all this, it just grew on me and I just love it so much that in my opinion now, from when I first saw the car, it completely changed from night and day, right? Um, again, I thought it was the ugliest car ever made, as in the ugliest Firebird or Trans Am ever made. And now I think it's the sexiest, the most beautiful Firebird Trans Am ever made. Again, that's my opinion. I know some guys used to, or I know some people disagree and think my old thinking of it's the ugliest Firebird ever made. But again, I know why they did it this way. And now I just, nothing will ever change my mind that this is ugly again. This is just gorgeous. It's beautiful to me. And, um, yeah, I mean, just look at this. I mean, damn. <laughs> it really is sexy. Very beautiful. Very nice looking car. And again, if anybody disagrees, for the most part, the 98 and 2002 from... The front of the door, which is right here, back, is the exact same car. Okay, the exact same. So from the front of the door, which are the fenders, the hood, and the bumper, is completely different. And then, of course, the engine. So the engine, the fenders, the hood, the bumper, the rims are completely different but uh, overall in my opinion it's the sexiest this body style right here this body style right here is the sexiest i just love it to death nothing will ever change my mind and um, i am very very happy to have my real one and uh, yeah that's about it guys i hope you enjoyed this review uh, I hope at least you learned something about the leather interior. And we will get into more detail when I talk about the real cars outside. <laughs> but for right now, I hope you enjoyed this review. And uh, take care, guys. I'll see you in the next review of whatever I'm going to review next. <laughs> okay? So talk to you then. See you guys.